This video covers how to identify or discover resources that you can monitor with the relevant App Manager module. This video also explains how to use Delta Discovery, especially in large environments or environments that change often. Discovery typically involves installing the App Manager agent on the computer you want to monitor. You install the agent when you install the module on that computer. Next, you'll want to add that computer to the navigation pane. If you select the option to discover Windows objects automatically, App Manager will discover Windows resources for that computer, which is the same as running the Discovery NT Knowledge Script on that computer. After the computer shows up in the navigation pane, you can then run one or more specialized discovery knowledge scripts on that computer. You can find these scripts in the discovery category of the knowledge scripts view. Using these scripts you can discover resources used by specific applications such as Avaya Communication Manager, Oracle Databases, or Microsoft SQL Servers. Some discovery scripts simply identify the resources for an application and raise events if discovery succeeds or fails. Other discovery scripts, such as Discovery Virtual Center, allow you to define which elements you want to discover, such as data stores, resource pools, virtual hosts, and virtual applications, or vApps. You can also choose to exclude or not monitor certain types of objects to prevent excess data about non-essential objects. Let's take a closer look at the Discovery NT Knowledge Script, which will run against the computer that you just added. Use this script to discover Windows resource information, including related resources such as network printers, .NET Common Language Runtime, or CLR, objects. As the Discovery NT script runs, it adds any relevant objects that it discovers under the computer, such as the Common Language Runtime objects and the Printer object. To review, a full discovery performs a complete discovery of all information and sends this information to the QDB each time the discovery job runs. Delta Discovery identifies any changes to your environment since the last discovery job. Delta Discovery only sends changes to the QDB. With App Manager 8.0, Delta Discovery is the default form of discovery. Now we'll run Discovery NT with Delta Discovery enabled. Let's take a closer look at the various options for Delta Discovery. You may want to select the Perform Full Discovery on First Iteration option for jobs that have been stopped and restarted to ensure the discovery finds all changes since the job was stopped. You can choose to raise an event for any object changes since the last discovery to raise events if an object is added, deleted, relocated, renamed, or has a change to any properties. You can also change the notification severities and the event format for these event messages. Note, on the Advanced tab, you must deselect the option to collapse duplicate events into a single event to see individual events related to your changes. After a few moments, the discovery job completes and you can see that there's now a new printer object discovered. Now let's see what happens when we remove the Brother DCP printer from the computer. So once again, we'll run Discovery NT on that computer. On the Schedule tab, you can set Discovery to run at a set interval, such as daily or even hourly as needed. Again, you may want to deselect Collapse Duplicate Events into a single event. For any change-related events, we're changing the notification severity to 15 which causes a yellow warning icon to display. After the discovery job finishes, you can now see a warning icon on the events view. Double click the warning event to get details. 
and the details tab for the event message tells you that the brother printer was indeed deleted. This concludes our tutorial of how to discover resources that will be monitored by an App Manager module. For more information about App Manager and App Manager modules, go to our online documentation sites listed above. Thank you.